Hello again, it's AJ Holland and today I'm here to demonstrate the fixing of Clever Clip snap lock clips to 88mm Modwood natural grain collection on both metal joists and timber joists. In cyclonic areas rated above category 2, the front and rear edge decking boards need to be mechanically fixed through the top of the board at each joist with a 65mm decking screw. When using snap lock clips, this will add 4 millimetres to the height of the joist. Engineered nylon is frequently used in applications throughout the world due to its high strength, toughness and durability. Firstly, you need to consider the set out of your deck. Which fascia you're going to use, whether you're going to have an overhang with the front board or whether it will finish flush with the deck. Full board widths are recommended for the front of your deck. Starting from the outside front edge of your deck, place a clever clip on each side of your outer joists. Bearing in mind that both ends of the clever clip holds half a board, the position of this front board will govern where the first clever clips will be positioned from the end of your joists. For an overhang when using the 88mm clip, you'll need to cut the dovetail off so it's sitting flush to the front of the joist. When using the overhang method for timber joists, Use 30 by 30 mil aluminium angle along the length of your deck. Alternatively, you can also screw fix the front board. For a flush finish, simply cut at the base of the last upright so its base finishes flush with the end of the joist, making sure the clever clips are sitting squarely on the outside joists. You'll also need to cut the teeth on the outside of the upright so the fascia fits correctly. Cutting the clip with a drop saw will give you the cleanest cut. However, it's critical you place a piece of off-cut decking into the clip prior to cutting. Otherwise, the vibration of the saw's teeth hitting the clip tooth can cause the clip teeth to shatter. This can be dangerous and when using power tools, please ensure you're wearing safety goggles, dust mask and ear protection. If you don't want to use this method, you can simply screw fix the first board, remembering you'll need to pack up the board by 4mm. All the clips have a directional arrow located in the middle of the clip. It's always best to work in this direction. If possible, you can also cut your joists to fit full board widths. Once you've decided which method to use, we suggest you place your other clever clips on the end joist toward the end of the house to check the squareness of your deck, thus ensuring the last deck board size against the house isn't too small. If your deck is close to the ground and height safety is not an issue, you may choose to start at the house and work to the outside of the deck. You'll have to cut the clip at the base of the last upright and when using this option, it's strongly recommended that you check your front board options prior to commencement. For timber joists, use 8 gauge 25mm galvanised button head or countersunk screws or 32mm by 3.15 galvanised connector nails or equivalents. For metal joists, use 10 gauge 16mm galvanised wafer head self drilling screws with a head size less than 2mm. For quick fixing, you can use 2.75 by 32 duo fast coil nails fired from a coil nail gun. And when using the coil nail gun, make sure your first row of clips are correct prior to securing the second and subsequent rows of clips. When fixing the clever clips in high corrosive areas, please use stainless steel equivalents. If stainless steel button head screws are not available, you may need to use stainless steel countersunk screws. When using countersunk head screws, make sure the screw head's sitting below the 2mm rib on the clip. When fixing the clever clips, firmly press down on the top of the clips, making sure they don't move and are sitting squarely on the timber or metal joists. When fixing KSL 88N snap lock clips to timber or metal end joists using button head or wafer screws, you must use two fasteners per board space, 12 per clip. When fixing to the inner joist, you can use one fastener per board space next to each upright, six per clip. When using connector nails or coil gun nails to both end and inner joists, you must use two fasteners per board space, 12 per clip. 
Now that the outer side clever clips have been securely fastened to the joists, run a string chalk line from one of the outer side clever clips across the inner joists on the deck to the other outer side of the clever clip. Using this chalk line, you can then correctly position the remainder of the front clever clips onto the other internal joists. Approved adhesives are any polyurethane based MS type adhesive. For the 88mm clip, apply two small dobs of adhesive approximately 8mm high and 8mm in diameter to your inner joist to both sides of the clip where the boards will sit. For boards at the end of joists, you'll need an 8mm full bead of adhesive across both sides of the clip. Place the complete length of mod wood decking on a slight angle and insert the leading edge of the groove into all the teeth. Once the complete length of the board's groove is engaged into all the teeth, ensuring the outside clever clip uprights are visible on the outside edge of the decking boards, simply walk along the outside edge of the deck board until it engages into the clever clips. At the top of each clever clip upright, you'll see a notch. This notch is designed to line up with each of your butt joints. Apply two full beads of adhesive 8mm high across the clip. Insert your deck boards, making sure you leave a 2mm gap at the butt joint as per mod wood installation requirements. It's important that your butt joints are square and line up with the notch in the clever clip upright. Otherwise, the deck board end may not engage correctly with the clever clip teeth. Now that you've completed your first front row of clever clips and boards, it's time to fix the remainder of the clips to the joists. Simply place the clever clips at the back end of the previous clip, making sure that both clever clips are hard up against each other, and engage the dovetail joiner with a slight tap of a hammer. You can design your deck width to suit full clever clip lengths. However, in some cases you may have to cut the clever clip to fit. This will happen at the back of the deck, generally against the house end. Clever clips are designed to either take a half width board at this end or you can cut the clever clips with snips to utilise any board width. If you've chosen the overhang method for your front board and have timber joists, use 30 by 30 mil aluminium angle along the length of your deck. Drill holes through the aluminium angle at each of the joist ends and screw fix to your joist ends making sure the aluminium angle is 4 mil above the top of the joist flush with the top of the rib of the clever clip. Common practice is to use a board as your fascia on the outside line of your joist. You'll need to take a rebate out of the back corner to compensate for the aluminium angles and screws. This will allow the fascia board to sit flush hard up against the end of the joists. Hello again, I'm AJ Holland from Clever Clip and today I'm here to show you our range of building products. This is our FREP joist hanger, FREP, Fibre Reinforced Engineered Polymer. Strong like steel and it won't corrode in any environment. And it comes with the painted Clever Clip ventilation ridges that help keep your joists free from rot. It's easy to use and there's no sharp edges to cut yourself on. This is our adjustable joist support. It's specifically designed for building decks over concrete slabs when you don't have a lot of height to work with. It'll keep the bottom of your joists dry and help prevent them from rotting. This is our adjustable bearer support. It's specifically designed for building decks approximately 300 millimetres to 600 millimetres above the ground. You adjust it by winding it up and down, then locking it off with the nut. This is our new joist connector. It's designed for attaching 45 mil joists to 90, 70 and 45 mil bearers. Our joist connector is easy to use and provides ventilation to the bottom of the joist. It offers a far more positive connection than the current traditional skew nail method.